Yeah, Dan, they're calling it sea star wasting syndrome. And right now, marine biologists are still scratching their heads as to what exactly causes them to melt into that goo. The popular guess right now is that it's a virus. And that's the reason why even some sea stars inside the Monterey Bay Aquarium were dying from this phenomenon. Now, to give you an idea of just how devastating this disease was, it wiped out about 75% of sea stars from Mexico all the way up to Alaska. But they are resilient and the recovery so far has been promising. And experts are quick to remind people that that's what sea stars are known for, recovering. So it gives people an opportunity to see that, you know what, Mother Nature can heal. You know, it's not all doom and gloom out there. She has an amazing ability to respond if we just give her the time, the space, and take away some of those offending things that are giving her a, a tough time out there. And Dr. Murray is hoping that this recovery shows that the new generation of sea stars now have an immunity to the disease and that they're going to come back stronger and better than ever. Reporting in Monterey, Christopher Salas, KSBW Action News 8.